An important community fixture in Northwest Phoenix recently celebrated a major milestone. This has uh, so much community support. Everything from the neighbors to the friends of the libraries. It has been known uh, as one of the best place. We rate it is right behind Burton Bar Library as, as a top library. I learned to read here. Uh, participate in some of the youth programs that, that, they, uh, uh, that they had here. And I have just so many positive memories of this library. I will always have a love in my heart for Choya Branch Libraries. And Choya Library has aged exceptionally well. It's not only a place to get books. Uh, you can get all kinds of city services here. You can sign up for college. I mean, there's workforce development uh, training, computers accessibility. It's served as uh, such an important resource for so many years, um, and we're so proud of it. This community resource continues to evolve, and residents love it. It used to be one story, and now it's two. And um, of course, we've changed from um, being more hard copy to being more electronic and digital. Um, we've seen a big change in that in the library. There's almost like 35 computers upstairs, and of course, there never used to be any at all. People have grown up here bringing their children to this library for many, many years. And that link to reading and early literacy makes so much difference in a child's life. Malls have gone out of fashion, but the library hasn't. And I will tell you, it is still a very active place to be. Choi's steam power has a lot to do with its design, thanks to award-winning architect Will Bruder. With over 500 commissions to his credit, libraries like Burton Bar and Choya have benefited greatly from his expertise. It grew from a small 10,000 square foot branch with our renovations and additions of 20,000 square feet in 1990. So while it was finished in 1977, it then found its new life in 1990 in the library that we're standing in today. I believe that architecture is pragmatic and functional. You have to like something. I like something that has to function well, and I'm always interested in that. And then you have the whole idea of the poetry of different ideas. You try to create, in the tradition of the old Carnegie Libraries, a dynamic point of pride in the community that really draws the imagination of people to it. You try to create a building that is infinitely flexible. He's the best architect that we're lucky enough to have here in the city of Phoenix, and his buildings win national and international awards and help the reputation of the city of Phoenix to be known as a city that does appreciate good architecture. He makes it so that it is so user-friendly and that it creates an environment that enhances people's lives. And enhancing people's lives is not just a matter of form, but also one of function. When I started to design libraries, it was all about libraries as the caretakers of knowledge. By the time we got to Troya Library, they weren't just caretakers of knowledge, they were navigators of knowledge. And the Troya Library staff are effective navigators indeed. We've got uh, story time through the ages. We have um, dancing through the decades. And there's a talk on um, the future of Metro Center. And then this afternoon, there's going to be um, continued sale of the Friends um, books, and that's how the library is basically funded for some of their programs. And we also have Discovery Time and STEM programs, which are like engineering, art, um, electronic kind of things. We built robots last week. We try to stay on the cutting edge of what the community wants and needs. I was pleased to hear today from several of the People have been using it for a long time, the librarians, that they still have people come in and say, this is new, isn't it? And that makes you feel really good as an architect that a building can have respect and energy and appear timeless by being timely and friendly and accessible. Libraries change lives. The Choya Library has been changing lives for 40 years. Happy 40th birthday, Choya Library. Thanks. For Phoenix TV, I'm Deborah Cedillo-Dugan.